Hey everyone, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create a dynamic copy to clipboard button inside of a repeater. Let's go ahead and get started. So for today's video, we're gonna be doing this inside of Wix Studio, but this should also work in classic Wix as well. So the first thing I wanna do is actually create a database. So we're gonna come over to CMS and we're gonna add this to our website. Then let's go ahead and select a preset. And for today's tutorial, let's just go ahead and select the team. Now, as usual, it added a couple pages and some default elements here in the repeater. Uh, just for today's example, I'm gonna change the full name 02 to Ryan and we can go ahead and exit out. Now, when we look right here, you're gonna notice that full name 01, Ryan, full name 03. But what I want to do here is actually add a button inside the repeater item that will copy the full name. So let's go ahead and add a button real quick, just right here. And let's also change the text of this button to copy, just like that, perfect. Now I'm not really gonna design this out because today's video is just supposed to be an example of what you can do. But now we need to go ahead and start coding. So what we're gonna do is come over to code and press start coding. And now we are on the page code right here. So what we need to do is basically create functions that when this button is pressed or clicked, it copies the name of the user in this repeater item. So the first thing that I'm going to do here at the very top is I'm going to import Wix window from Wix window. Perfect. And right now you're gonna notice that this text is kind of grayed out and that's just because there is no code actually referencing this API that we imported. So once we start adding code here, you'll start to notice that it's no longer grayed out. But the first thing we're gonna to want to do is call the repeater. And this repeater right here, you can see right here it's called repeater one. You can also check it down here under ID. It says repeater one. We can even change the name if we want to. Maybe we want to call it team repeater, something like that. And we'll just go ahead and grab this ID. Up here in the code, we're gonna say dollar sign W with some parentheses, and we're gonna call the team repeater. Then we're gonna press the period and say on item ready. And we're gonna do two sets of parentheses. And inside the second parentheses, we're gonna say dollar sign item, and then we're gonna say comma, then we're gonna say item data, and then we're gonna just say comma index. Then on the outside of this inner parentheses, we're gonna say equal, greater than, and we're gonna do some curly brackets, just like this. And also you'll kind of notice that this team repeater is red right now. And that's just because for some reason, the ID sometimes takes a minute for everything to update, but it should work with no issues. But we can go ahead and move on to the kind of next step. Now what we need to do is this team repeater is gonna be calling to the data set. Um, so what we need to do is maybe create a variable for this team name. So that way when we call the click action on the button, we actually have a variable that we can copy. So what we're gonna do is say const, we'll say team member name, and this is gonna equal item data because this item data is dependent on which item inside the repeater the user is clicking on. We don't want someone to try to copy full name four and for some reason it copies full name one. We want it to be the data from that specific item. And then lastly, we're gonna to want to put the ID of whatever input we're trying to grab. So if we come over to databases, come over to the team data set and look at name, you're gonna see that the, the ID is called a title and we can just copy the field ID right here, go back over to the page code and we can just put title just like that. So now anytime we reference team member name, it's gonna be referencing this, the items name. Perfect. Now what we need to do is set up an on-click event basically for the button. So we're gonna call the button. We're gonna say dollar sign item because again, this item, we don't want to click on Ryan's button and it just selects a random one to copy. We want it to be the specific items button and then we're gonna grab the button here. So this button is called button one. So we can change it again if we wanted to but we'll just go ahead and use it as is for now. And we're gonna say on click, and then we're gonna do double brackets or double parentheses, equal, greater than, and then curly brackets, just like this. 
And basically what we're doing is creating a function. Anytime you see these double brackets, equal, greater than, with curly brackets, you're basically creating a function or an event of some sort. And what we're gonna want to do is say Wix window, and we're gonna say copy to clipboard. And what do we want to copy? We want to copy team member name. So I wanna say team member name, just like that. Then underneath it, we can say dot then. And once again, let's go ahead and create another little event function, I guess. And what we're gonna say is dollar sign item, and let's call the button again. So we'll go ahead and do button one. And what do we want to happen? We want the label of the button to say copied. And that would be a good way for us to make sure that the code is actually working. But once we are done with that, we can go ahead and publish the website. And in a new tab, let's go ahead and open it up. So here we are on the page. If I go ahead and press the copy button here, you'll notice that it changed text and what it should have copied was Ryan. So if I open up a brand new tab and I go ahead and paste in the text, you can see that it copied Ryan. Now, if we go back, maybe we want to copy someone else's name. Let's try full name 06. Let's go over here and we can go ahead and paste this in as well. And you can see that it is working. But that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you want the code, you can follow the link in the description to our website where you can actually use the code for yourself. But if you enjoyed the video, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel for more Wix Studio content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I'll see you on the next one.